right, what's going on? We're about to make a run for it here real quick. I want to see if Alex Butler can keep up with my voice here. We got sound effects going on and then we've got some intense music. So we're going to see how Alex Butler handles all this. All right, let's go for it. If you hear anything, explosions, get it close, you hit the deck. All right, let's go. Run for it. All right, come on, we gotta hit the deck. If you hear anything coming crazy, you gotta hit the deck. So you gotta keep it cool. Whoa. Let's go. Run out of here. Whoa. All right. Whoa. All right, get in. All right, down here, hopefully. Alex Butler was able to handle some of that. Explosions going on everywhere. It's crazy, crazy. What's happening guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to speed up your workflow, specifically your audio workflow here in DaVinci Resolve. And we're going to do that by using some plugins by a company called Alex Butler. Today's video is sponsored by Alex Butler, but as always, I'm going to give you my honest opinion and let you know what I really think of these plugins, how they work, the pros, the cons, and just help you make a decision if it might be right for you. So what are the Alex Butler audio plugins? They're VST plugins that you can use right in DaVinci Resolve that help you set your audio levels. So usually you gotta go through, you know, each track, you wanna set your audio levels to a certain point, you know, one point for your vocals, another point for your music, you wanna set uh, your sound effects to another level. So this eliminates you having to go through your video and come up with all those different levels and set everything yourself. It's basically a one-click option that is added in as an effect on your audio track that sets the levels for you. So that's how it really speeds up your workflow, setting the levels automatically for you. Now I've had a chance to use these for uh, about a month or two, and I have to say it's pretty impressive. They work pretty good to set your levels for you, and I like how they work. But let's jump over to the computer. I wanna show you their website real quick. Also show you how to get them installed, which is a pretty easy process. And then I wanna show you some examples of what the tool looks like and how it works. So let's jump in the computer and check it out. So here we are on the Alex Audio Butler website. And here they give you some facts and features about how the product works, a couple quick videos on it, and you can use it in Premiere as well as Adobe Audition and DaVinci Resolve, which is what we're going to be using it for. So as you scroll through, it'll give you some information here about what the product does and how it works. It also gives you the prices for the various packages. So if you're interested in purchasing these plugins, you can do it right here from their website. So once you make your purchase, you'll receive an email from Alex Audio Butler giving you a link to download the files. Once you download the files, you're gonna see something that looks like this in the folder. And you're gonna go ahead, if you're on Mac OS, you're gonna go ahead and click the installer here. And on Windows, you're gonna see the Windows installer. So click the one that fits for your system. And then you basically follow the on-screen instructions and it'll get it installed for you. And I would recommend too that you check out this installation and setup guide. And this is what the user manual looks like. It tells you how to install these plugins for your different programs. And if you scroll towards the end here, you have uh, authorization in DaVinci Resolve. So that's how you can install these and get them going in DaVinci Resolve. Another thing to keep in mind is that you're gonna need a key to get all these plugins to work in DaVinci Resolve. So you should receive that key in an email that you receive from Alex Butler when you make your purchase. So keep that key handy for when we get into DaVinci Resolve. All right, so now we're gonna jump into DaVinci Resolve. We're gonna get right into the Fairlight tab and I'm gonna show you how to add one of these plugins to the track and we're gonna talk more about what they do and how they do it. All right, so now we're here in the Fairlight tab in DaVinci Resolve. If you're not sure how to get to the Fairlight tab, click on these little musical notes down here and that'll bring you right to the Fairlight tab. So I've already got some audio in here. These are the samples I'm gonna play for you in a minute. But in order to start adding in the Alex Audio Butler plugins, it's pretty easy. You wanna make sure that your mixer's open. So if you don't see your mixer, click on this little icon right up here. Should bring up your mixer over here. Now you wanna look in the effects section. If for some reason you don't see your effects section, you may need to use your mouse wheel to scroll up and down here. And if you still can't see it, come with these three little dots right here, click on that and make sure you have effects checked. And you may need to uncheck some of these other ones if you can't scroll and find it. So the Alex Audio Butler plugins lie within the effects panel here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the plus. I'm gonna come down to uncategorized and VST. And now you see I've got several different plugins. So we have Alex Master Audio Butler. Alex Music Audio Butler, Alex Sound Effects, and Alex Voice. So I think these are pretty self-explanatory. You wanna put each one on the type of track that you're trying to set the levels for. For example, any vocal tracks, you wanna use the voice one. Any sound effects tracks, use the sound effects one. Any music tracks, use the music one. And the master one is gonna go on your main output. So now let's jump into each one, talk about them a little bit. I'll show you what they look like and how they work. So let's start with the voice plugin here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that. 
and it's gonna bring up this window right here. So real quick, if we look in our mixer right here, you see the Alex Audio Butler voice is added into our effects. Now, when we take a look at the plugin here, you've only got a few options, which is one of the things that makes this so quick and simple. And what's great is if you hover over these different options, it's gonna give you a little information down below that helps you decide what you wanna use. So your auto volume here, this is where the plugin is going to set the volume for you. So I like to choose constant source here because most of my uh, audio that I'm bringing in, it's a single source. It's, you know, at the same levels for the most part. So I like to pick that one. I have tried out the varying source ones, um, but I don't like how it uh, kind of changes the volume up and down. I like it to be constant. So I'm going to click on constant. Down below that, you have the different kinds of compression that the plugin will add to your clips. So if we say natural here, you can see very light compression used on already mixed source material or on professional sources if you want a natural sound. So I find for me, most of the time, I'm gonna use this natural one, and then I also may throw on a multi-band compressor on top of this, but I usually choose the natural option here. Now, if you wanted something that sound uh, a little more compressed and um, just sounds a little bit louder, you're gonna to wanna to choose general, and that can work out fine too. And then max here is if you want something that's compressed very strong, but it, the audio is very loud and uh, it's easy and clear to hear. I find that sometimes that this is a little too loud, a little too much. So like I said, I generally use the natural setting here. And all you have to do is turn these items on and then play through your clip and it's gonna automatically make adjustments to the levels of your audio as you play through it. I'm just gonna add in a few more tracks here so we can look at the windows side by side here. So now let's say I want to add in the sound effects plugin. So I'm gonna come click on my effects, click on the plus, come down to uncategorized VST and now I'm gonna choose sound effects. So here's our sound effects window right here. And again, you've got several different options. So you can set your target volume here. And if you hover over each one, again, it gives you a little description down below of what those levels will be. So depending on the sound effects, it just depends on what level I'll pick here, but you've got to try it and see what works best for your clips. Or if you want to set the volume, you know, just in DaVinci Resolve and you don't want the volume to change at all based on the what the uh, plugin here sees, you can just turn it off. So let's say typically I might use, you know, this setting or this setting, and then you've got audio ducking. So what is audio ducking? Audio ducking is when you've got uh, a vocal, or in this case, a sound effect or something, and then let's say you got music underneath it. Well, you want that music to get a little bit quieter when whatever, say, your speaking happens, right? You want that music to duck underneath your speaking so you can hear the speaking clearly. Well, that's what audio ducking does. And I've got some videos on how to do that in DaVinci Resolve. If you're interested, you can go check those out. But what's cool with the Alex Butler plugins is that it does it automatically for you. You don't have to change any other settings. It'll do it automatically for you. So looking at the sound effects here, generally, I don't want the sound effects to duck under anything. And you're gonna see in the clip that I have uh, coming up, the example, how I have the effects set and how I want them to actually be loud and not duck underneath anything. So in most of the cases, when I use this, I leave it turned off but you can choose what works best for your project. So now let's say I wanted to add in a plugin for the music. I'm gonna, again, come to my effects area, click on the plus, uncategorized VST and come to music. So here is what the music plugin looks like and it's very similar to the sound effects. We've got our different volumes here for your target volume. And I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but a lot of times when I bring in music, especially when I get it from like ArcGrid or somewhere, I mean, that volume is screaming, it's way up here. And usually I bring that down quite a bit so by using the Alex Audio Butler plugin, you don't have to go through and change those levels. This is gonna do it automatically for you. So you really need to just take a look at these different settings here, try them out and see how it works. See what works best for your video. And then down here you have auto ducking and this is gonna duck the music below any speaking parts that you have in your video. And this is great because you, you wanna be able to understand whatever you're saying in your video. So you have different amounts of audio ducking here. And again, click on it and you'll see, it'll give you a little description and let you know what it's gonna do. So you have subtle, you have medium, and you have contrasting, and it basically goes from the least amount of audio ducking to the most amount of audio ducking. Typically, I'll leave this set on medium, and that seems to work out pretty good for me. So once you've gone ahead and added these plugin effects onto your various audio tracks, you wanna go ahead and add in the master plugin to your master output. Now, why do you wanna do that? Well, when you're uploading to YouTube or other platforms, they generally have a loudness level that you can set your audio to. So in practical terms, what that means is when you watch some videos, they sound louder and other videos, they might sound quieter. So by adjusting your loudness levels, that's gonna make your audio loud enough in your video that uh, people don't have to crank the volume way up in order to hear it. So the Alex Audio Butler Master Plugin, when you put it on your master track, is gonna do all that for you. It's gonna bring all those levels up 
and give you uh, basically the maximum amount of output that you can have for a given platform. So let's take a quick look at that. So again, here in the Fairlight tab, here is my main out right here. I wanna come to the effects area and click on the plus, come down to uncategorized VST and Alex Master Audio Butler. So when you click on that, it's gonna bring up this window right here. And again, you can hover over any one of these and see what, uh, what they actually do. So at the top here, we have compression and you've got different amounts of compression going from least to greatest. So generally, I'll leave this on general right here, and that works out pretty good because I find if you over compress things, it just, it, to me, it just doesn't sound great. But you can use the boost or the max if you need a higher overall volume. And then down here, your export target. So where are you exporting this for? Is it online for, say, YouTube? Is it broadcast or is it for archive? So generally, I always use online because I'm usually uploading to YouTube. All right, so now we want to talk about how do these actually work? So I've got two clips I want to show you, one where I am using these plugins and one where I am not using these plugins. And I didn't do any kind of processing to any of these audio tracks. All I did was drop them in and use the Alex Butler plugins and I let Alex Butler do all of the work of setting the levels. So let's go ahead and roll the first clip here using the Alex Butler audio plugins and then I'm gonna show you one without using them so you can see the difference here. All right, what's going on? We're about to make a run for it here real quick. I wanna see if Alex Butler can keep up with my voice here. We got sound effects going on and then we've got some intense music. So we're gonna see how Alex Butler handles all this. All right, let's go for it. If you hear anything, explosions, get it close, you hit the deck. All right, let's go. Run for it. All right, come on, we gotta hit the deck. If you hear anything coming crazy, you gotta hit the deck. So you gotta keep it cool. Whoa. Let's go. Run out of here. Whoa. some of that explosions going on everywhere it's crazy crazy all right so that's the first clip right there this next clip i turned off all the plugins and it's just the straight audio as i dumped it into the timeline so you're going to see how that sounds all right what's going on we're back on board here real quick what's the next bullet to keep up with my voice here we've got sound effects going on and then we've got some intense music so we're going to see how that All right, so that's the second clip there. And I don't know about you guys, but I can definitely hear a difference. You can't hear me talking so good. All the sound effects are really loud and the music is just kind of lost in there too. So you can definitely see the difference in how the plugins are adjusting the levels for me. So that's pretty sweet. Let's just jump back into Resolve. I want to show you what the timeline looks like for all of the audio for those two clips. So back here in the Fairlight tab, taking a quick look, you see here are all of my different sound effects, the music, the planes, the choppers, all that kind of stuff, explosions. And all I did was drop them in where I wanted them in my timeline. And then in my mixer here, I went through and I added in whichever uh, plugin fit that particular track. You can see I labeled the tracks. I've got music, sound effects, um, got the choppers, and the last one's here is the plane. So I just used whichever one I thought fit best. And then I adjusted the settings in the plugin as I needed. And you can see I added them all the way across. It's the only thing I did. And you can see in the last main output, I also added the main out. All right, so wrapping it up here, what do I think? I think these plugins are great. I think they definitely help speed up your workflow when you're working with your audio here uh, in DaVinci Resolve. And if you're like me, speeding up the workflow is super important because I got a million other things going on too and I can't spend all day editing videos as much as I would like to. So it definitely helps speed up your workflow. Now, what are some of the negatives? There are a few things I think uh, that you gotta keep in mind when you're working with these plugins. So these plugins set your audio levels, which is perfect because then you don't have to do that. But they do not include things like EQ, maybe other effects, maybe noise removal. There's other things you're probably still gonna wanna do to your audio to make it sound the best that it can. But as far as setting your levels, I think this works out great. The other thing that I noticed is when you first add the plugin onto a channel, I'm gonna hit the plus button, add the effect, put it on my channel. You actually have to play through your timeline 
for the plugins to kind of analyze what you got and come up with, you know, this the proper levels, if you will, for what is in your timeline. And I don't know if it's just me because my machine's a little old here, but that first playthrough, it's real choppy. The, the volumes are up and down, they're kind of all over. But once you play through that first time, then it's fine. I can change settings in the plugins and everything works out pretty good. But that first playthrough is pretty choppy and, uh, you know, especially if your video is long, it's kind of a pain to have to sit through it. So that's one thing that I didn't like. But overall, I think these plugins are really good and they're definitely gonna speed up the workflow. So for me, I think these plugins are great. I'm gonna continue to use them because they help set my audio really quickly and uh, just helps me move through my project a little bit quicker when I'm editing here in DaVinci Resolve. So if you guys are interested in checking out these plugins, check out the link in the description below. A big thank you to Alex Audio Butler for sponsoring today's video and for the opportunity to share this product with you guys. I wanna thank you guys for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.